All right. Uh, good morning again for the record. Uh, welcome to day two uh, of week eight stand up. We are going to go through our normal routine stand up, but also uh, before like we dive into the routine uh, stand up activity that we do of reporting, we can tag uh, any presentations available. Like if you did not present yesterday and you still want to present your work, then you are welcome to do so. Is there anyone? You can raise your hand. Okay. I'm not seeing any hands up. Um, all right, uh, but if you can help me know, since I did not like make it to the end of the stand up yesterday, can you let me know if you have already presented? Can you send a reaction thumbs up emoji? I'm seeing Shamil, Henok, Johannes, Daisy, and Yabes, and Hillary, and Melaku. Okay, so that means we are left with uh, a baby who wants to present now. And then we have uh, the few people who did not raise hands, like uh, Adisu and Abraham and Wandera and Tamsken. If I mentioned your name, but you have already presented, please give me a thumbs up. Okay, Adisu did. Uh, Michael did. Uh, how about Wanderer and Tamskin? Ahmed, uh, you presented yet? Okay. And uh, presented, okay. Uh, how about Mr. Mr. Good morning. Did you present as well? If you did, you can give me a thumbs up. No. Okay, Dint, are you ready to present now in this stand up? Okay, but also if you're not present, prepared, you can just show us your work and uh, we have the technical tutors. They can help you with just how far you are. So just bring up something from where your work is now and then just show us uh, what you have been doing. I would really highly encourage that. So uh, from there, I'm waiting to hear from Wanderer and Tamsken. Did you present yesterday? No, I didn't present yesterday. OK, so I put you on the queue of the presentations for today. Uh, not at the moment because I'm moving. I'm moving to to a tour space where where usually where usually tab is. So if I get there early, then definitely I'll present. But if I don't, I will communicate. Okay, try to make it. Try to make it. How about your time scan? Time scan, you're on mute. Okay, and uh, as Debs can tell us uh, uh, his status, then uh, we can go ahead. I'm seeing more people joining. Joseph, Joseph, good morning. Joseph Rikuna, can you hear me? Okay, before we proceed to Abebe, empty now, what's the call um, to everyone who's not prepared? Can they show us like how far they are just, just to show us their work or uh, do we leave it? Yeah, so uh, yeah, good morning everyone. So uh, we said this before, but uh, let me reiterate. Yes, we, uh, you can just show us what you have done. Uh, you can explain if you don't have a presentation ready that's fine you can just uh, present um, 
like uh, what like you're working in a whatever way that you think you can show us like the core of what you have done and what you have achieved basically you don't you, you don't have to have finished either so you just show us what you have done so far that's that's fine okay all right thank you so much for confirming yes you do not have to have a presentation like you had guys so just you can show us your work in a way that you want us to see your work so i'm putting it in this way and i really believe that you'll be able to show us something uh -huh. before we proceed again grace grace good morning can you hear me Uh, Grace, if you've presented yesterday, give me a thumbs up, and if you have not, uh, put it in the chat box. Uh, the same goes to Derej. Derej, did you present yesterday? Also, please let me know. So, so far, I have uh, on the queue, I have uh, Abebe, Mr. Abraham, and Martin. I'm waiting to hear. Um, Tamskin. From Tamskin, from Grace, from Derej, and from Joseph. So the people who are written under the waiting to hear from you, please let us know in the chat box. Otherwise, let's get started quickly uh, with a baby. A baby can go ahead. The floor is yours. Baby, if you're speaking, you're on mute. Okay. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I was not um, assuming that I am going to present uh, today, so I don't have the PowerPoint. Just I want to show uh, how far I was going with the project. Thank you, uh, your time. The team and uh, our dear trainees. But by this, I will share my screen and try to show you what I was trying to do for the last week's presentation, uh, for the last week's challenge. I think my screen is up. Uh, Okay, if so, I will continue. I will just show some functions from my Git and I will go for the demo. As you all here see, here I have four files with different functionalities in and with different modules and functions inside. So uh, the first uh, file is the retrieval.qi that try to uh, create a uh, run for this project with uh, functions, uh, different functions as you have seen here. In this uh, uh, page, the document that uh, I have used for uh, this uh, project is uh, week seven document that uh, challenge document for week seven. This is just for uh, an example we can uh, do with four others too. So the, con the, the concept uh, is uh, we are trying to create a, an automatic prompt generator uh, project. So for this automatic creation, of the prompts we use some ways we give the uh, algorithm we give the contexts that have been defined uh, here 
this there is a context that we are going to give this context file is changing every time we run our application uh, the uh, files we have the pdf files that we are using for this uh, project is being splitted and uh, splitted with uh, uh, the facebook splitter function then the FIA, uh, called fias i used that one there are lots of but i used the facebook's uh, functions are to split and change uh, my PDF. So uh, after splitting and changing, it, it saves the context in this uh, context uh, file. This data generation prompt and uh, generic uh, generation prompts are files that are. Uh, this one is uh, created every time, and these uh, two files are the context that our functions are going to, to use. So uh, bef uh, at the first uh, step, I try to use this function to uh, retrieve context. Th this will use the context file and try to uh, check my uh, files. Then it will uh, go for uh, data generation. So this data generation file uh, uses AI, the OpenAI key to uh, the OpenAI key and to access uh, GPT 3.5 Turbo model. And using this model, we are uh, going to uh, do all the tasks that are uh, going to be uh, expected with this project. So, uh, as you see, there is a function here uh, called uh, generate test data. This function will create a JSON file that will uh, be uh, used or that that is um, a, fu a function to create a JSON file and uh, it will save another function is there to save that JSON file in uh, this location when the main function calls it uh, it will use context and uh, data con generation con uh, prom uh, prompt context to uh, actually uh, create the uh, automatic uh, rugs uh, in this case so uh, after creating this rug we will evaluate it and uh, there there uh, there is an evaluation process here for the evaluation uh, i have used the accuracy uh, to evaluate this for the evaluation too we uh, give files that the context and uh, generic evaluation prompts. This generic evaluation prompt is, uh, we can say that uh, like rules for the evaluation process. So uh, this uh, function is we'll use rules to evaluate our, uh, our prompts that, are being, uh, that have been uh, generated. So after evaluation, there is um, a, fun a function, a module called rankings that will use ALO and uh, Monte Carlo. The, the, these two uh, different types of ranking methodologies are there. This the ranking will be used to uh, compare the, based on the values, we can compare uh, the prompts that is being generated by our uh, systems. Uh, I don't think I can say more than this, so I can show you what my uh, demo. Uh, this one is, I have, uh, this is my front end, so as you can see in the sidebar, I have search history and uh, file upload, but the file upload is not uh, working for the time being. Maybe uh, I will try to go, if I get time, I will go to, uh, to try to make it. The concept is uh, we, every, uh, we, we are not going to use a dynamic data for this uh, prompt generation, but uh, we can uh, upload a file and automatically the functions will use these uh, algorithms and will uh, go for creating prompts using uh, every uh, automatic uploads. So, uh, and the uh, search is three to just to place the last search uh, before. No, so I was uh, trying to search uh, the tutors from uh, uh, 
here. That's why it's put here. So uh, let me uh, write the libraries. And uh, when I said uh, generate prompt, it will put it here. And uh, the, the prompts will be uh, displayed under uh, uh, here, as, as you can see. Uh, it will uh, give us uh, the generated questions. It will give us like this. And after that, I can say uh, evaluate prompts. And it will be, play, display the evaluation of each these five uh, prompts. As you can see, uh, I, I make it just in order uh, based on their evaluation. Their accuracy is displayed here. And after that, I will go for uh, ranking these uh, prompts. As you can see, uh, the Monte Carlo and El Elo ranking grades uh, values are uh, displayed here. Uh, this is all I uh, was trying uh, to work for the last uh, week's project. Uh, if you have any questions, you are welcome. Um, thank you, Gitacha. Um, so, okay, um, that's a good presentation. And you have like, a, uh, so which uh, you have uh, almost finished, like it's a finished product, it seems. Uh, so my question is like this is just like um, what is like the um, improvement or the next steps do you want to implement if you have time? Um, what would you include in this project to to make it better? Uh, as I have said, it, it, it takes a one PDF file, so I will uh, try to. Uh, make it an automatic upload that would be maybe that will not take uh, much time okay. but it, i was uh, i was uh, finished this project uh, yesterday that's why uh, I, I, I i i don't uh, go for that All this right. this uh, one 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 of the, the things that i will do is that okay nothing uh, anything else you were saying you have thought about uh, for for something maybe uh, I I I don't go for uh, ragas. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if uh, I, I can apply it or not. But uh, but if I got if I got uh, an extra time, I will go for it. Okay, so trying ragas as an evaluation yeah. system. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That was was that was good. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, Pascal, I think we can uh, move to the next person. Is there the next person in the... Thank you. Okay. All right. I'm seeing these, these hands up. Hello. Good morning. I didn't present yesterday, although I had you mentioning my name. I can go ahead and present right now. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. All right. The floor is yours. Uh, then, Miss Till, you can prepare to be next, and then Abraham, and then Martin. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, yes. So for this project, I, I did two things separately. First, I built the RAG pipeline, and then I also um, built the prompt generation system. I didn't manage to put them together, but I'll, I'll show you what I did. Uh, so I, I built the app using RAG, and for the rug for the rug pipeline i used a table instruct model because it's been shown to me to give specific answers for instructions instruction based query so for the rug i i am um, i used uh one of the challenge documents the career challenge documents so i chunked it and i uploaded it i upsetted it to Python after creating an index and then I use the Python script yeah, to, to query it. So yeah, I, for example, the question I asked was what are the instructions for this week's challenge and 
which you can see answers that are specifically from from that document that I um, created an index from. So this is um, my lag system, and then uh, well, this is the index on Pinecon. And so now for the prompt generation system, I I created two modules one to create the prompt to generate the prompt, and then uh, so here. I'll show you the um, the user interface where the user can enter a description and a scenario and then generate the prompt. So yeah, the prompt generation system module it generates prompts by combining the description with the scenario and sending them to the AI API for completion. Uh, so here is the user interface where you can enter a description and the scenario and then generate the prompts. I'll show you the demo. And then uh, I also evaluated the generated prompts by counting the number of keywords, by analyzing the number of keywords in the description and returning a score. And then afterwards, the user can go ahead and uh, rank the prompt. So these are the generated prompts with the scores. And uh, the user can also rank the prompt uh, using Monte Carlo simulation. So here we have the scores, and then we can pick the prompt to the highest score. Uh, I also I have done some in the application test for the entire app. It's if all the modules are working as they should. I I use mock data just so I can isolate external dependencies like open API using testing. And yeah, so this is the test. And for my challenges, so I didn't manage to to integrate. I, my plan was to integrate the the rag system with the prompt generation system, such that the user can also query, uh, can also generate prompts that are specific to the knowledge, to my knowledge, to the knowledge database, which is the career challenge document. But I did uh, manage to integrate the two systems together. So that's um, a plan that I. I will work on in the future. So yeah, and another thing that I will be working on is uh, creating a, a more appealing user interface. So for this project, I use a HTML campus. It's just a basic um, user interface to see how the system was working, but I'll be working on improving it with React and changing the test. And uh, yeah, I'll also integrate the RAG pipeline so that the users can generate contextually relevant responses. Yeah. So let me show you the the prompt generation system. Uh, can you see it? So here, for instance, if the user wanted to generate um prompts regarding ethical implications of using large language models in customer service, so you can, the user will enter a description and the scenario and then you can click to generate from yeah so you can see the, the user interface is not that appealing so it's just basic html but i'll be working on that and then the user can also rank the prompt and see the rank the rank prompts so for itself the first one has a higher score so the user can then pick that one yeah that's it for my presentation Okay, thank you, Daisy. That was a um, good presentation. So, I guess let me ask you a question. How are you ranking the prompts? Like, I, um, so, first I generate uh, random test cases. I use the, the LLM. I use the, uh, the model to generate random test cases based on the description. And then, they are also I use the Monte Carlo simulation to rank them randomly. Okay, so I have two questions um, uh, about this. Uh, when you showed us, like, uh, the after the ranking, you can see the score, and the scores are like, uh, what are they out of? Like, seven or four, I can see. What is this? It doesn't seem to be an order. Is it some, is it out of some kind of, uh, it doesn't seem to be a match also, like the LO, LO system usually have like really, like 1,000 or 1,200. Uh, 1, what, what is your like um, ranking um, 
system look like? What are these scores out of? Well, the score, for the scores, I didn't use ELO. Uh -huh. I used what Monte, did you use? Monte Carlo. OK. Uh, yeah, so the, the function it takes me the prompt and the test cases, and then it yeah. assigns a random score based on those test cases. Is it out of 10, for example? Is it something like that? What is it? I can, I can show you the, the code. OK. Just want to have like an understanding of how this works. Um, yeah, if it's easy for you to do to show us the code, that would be nice. Can you see my screen? Uh, yes. Yeah, so it was a simple function. And um, yeah. So I was assigning a random score. Okay. Uh, so this is just like, a, is it a, a like a placeholder or something that you will implement? Well, I think there's something that was broken because I could. So, Basically, so after generating the test cases, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah so now after generating the test cases, then I access them from using the description and the scenario, and then I use those test cases to then uh, uh, to then assign a random score. So I was using a random to generate random values again, I, I increment them depending on the test method. Okay, so I mean, it, you can see that this is not, it, it cannot be like the, we are using just a random value, it's not, it's not an actual scoring, so you're not basing it on an actual performance, right? Is this, or am I missing something for, uh, here? Yes, yes, yes. yes. So do you have like a plan for what you are going to implement here instead of using the random, a random number? Uh, I will work on using a more statistically like significant method. I didn't hear you. What did you say? I think I work on developing a more statistic, a better statistic. Okay. So yeah, it should have to be something like, uh, it depends on the performance of the prompt on the test case, right? And it seems like um, your score depends on, just looking at the code, depends on the number of test cases you have. So something like that. So it will be like a perfect, let's say perfect performance will be like equal to the number of test cases. Something like that it seems. Uh, but yeah, so this is like a placeholder that you maybe you can fix. Uh, in future improvement, I suppose. All right, all right. Okay. Um, all right. So I think, uh, but overall, you have like a, um, a great, like a good uh, skeleton for at least for the project, even if it's like you have some places that you need improvement. So thank you for your presentation and for, yeah, for explaining it. And yeah, for answering my question. Um, so let's move on to the next person in the queue. Um. All right, so Mr. The floor is yours. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, um, for the project, uh, I haven't completed most of the tasks, but uh, I will be happy to share my progress with you. Uh, let me try to share my screen. Um, 
can you see it? Yes, we can. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, the project uh, main objective is to uh, generate to build a rough system that will uh, take an input from the user and improve the prompt, and uh, it will also evaluate the prompt and uh, generate a response prompt, and the response will be uh, ranked. Uh, uh, the response will be ranked too. So uh, what I try to do is uh, uh, I try to build this interface where the user can upload the um, knowledge base, and then uh, it will also inherit uh, uh, some prompts, and the system will uh, generate prompts that are uh, improved and based on the knowledge base. Uh, after uh, let me show you. Uh, so uh, what I tried to create is um, uh, I tried to first uh, fetch the uploaded PDF file and store it in a vector database. I used ChromaDB for that, and then after that uh, uh, I tried to implement um, a prompt generation using uh, OpenAI open GPT 3.5, and uh, I tried to uh, add this as a template for it so that it will provide us. Uh, um, improved version of the original provided prompts from the user. After that, I tried to use uh, Raga to generate a synthetic data. Uh, and for that, um, what I have tried to work is uh, to generate a synthetic data from the PDF file that's provided by the user. I tried to evaluate uh, its content uh, relevance and uh, uh, other metrics, but uh, I haven't uh, tried to. Uh, Evaluate the response that are generated from the LLM from the, uh, from the LLM yet. Uh, also, I haven't worked on the uh, prompt ranking, but uh, yeah, I was able to just only generate uh, prompts. Uh, I think that's my progress. Um, okay, thank you, Mister. Uh, so, just um, maybe I missed it. How did you? How do you? How do you, have you? Have you implemented the evaluation of prompts? And if you have, like, how do? How do you go about doing it? So I spend most of my time trying to understand rag in uh, ragas and where exactly to use it. Uh, from my mm -hmm. understanding. Like, uh, we can use it uh, in two ways. First, we can use to, it to evaluate the relevancy of our knowledge base, and second, uh, we can use it for uh, evaluate the prompts that are generated. Uh, so I think uh, I, I can specify the the metrics and uh, uh, me measure the prompts uh, according to the metrics, uh, but. Uh, I haven't implemented that part yet, and I'm not very really sure how to do it. Yeah. All right. So, but yeah, that's uh, yeah. Of course, you can use Ragas to improve, to like uh, um, evaluate the prompts, uh, since you are using like um, a document, and basically you can measure like uh, context uh, relevancy. Um, sorry, if the accuracy or the um, sorry, the um, what's it called? Faithfulness of like uh, the answer from the prompt, and so yeah, exactly. So, you, but like, of course, you have to um, how to work the details of how to, to use it. That will be like uh, should be like your next step, basically. So, thank you for for this presentation, and thank you for presenting, even though that you haven't finished. That's fine. Again, like uh, I want to just emphasize again, it's fine 
if you i mean it might, it might be like if you don't feel as um uh, I'm, not, I'm not talking to mr in general i'm just talking in general and many of you have done this already so just to encourage everyone even if you haven't finished and maybe you don't feel so 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 confident still it's important to present and show us like what you have done what is the problems that to stop you from finishing that is also like when when you like um um how to say finishing us on time is great of course but in real life when you're going to like in work environment you're not going to be able to reach the target always as planned you're going to face challenges and actually understanding the challenge that you faced and what caused it and and how you think about going about solving it this actually if you incor incorporate that in your presentation that will show like great critical thinking and great ability actually so we would appreciate uh, and i always appreciate when people in reports or in presentations say what they face, the problem they face, and why they faced it, and what they learned from it, because you get great insight from that. So I'm just um, saying, like, uh, thank you, Mr. And thank you, everyone who presented uh, so far. Uh, we still have someone in the queue, right? Asking? Yes. Um, and what you said is right, like 100%. So with the minutes that we are left with, to the people on the queue who's ready to present martin are you ready now okay still it's okay you can uh stop presenting and thank you yes abraham Okay, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Let me share my screen. Okay, okay go ahead. Get to start. Uh, uh, travel to precision rack, uh, our last week's assignment. Uh, I kind of had some different uh, sayings of, from most of, I think, the trainees. It's about addressing, uh, I, I, will explain, I, I think I will explain it more later, but let's see uh, more about the idea. It's about to address like the prompt engineering. It's about improving their prompts, repeat their desired outcomes, and like to, uh, it's, it's about to build an, an effective uh, prompt generation system. It shouldn't be limited to just a PDF, but it has to work in general based on understanding. Uh, uh, we have like three main, uh, inputs and outputs they will, uh, the users will enter their uh, objective their scenario and their exp expected output and uh, our rag or works rag will generate a generator prompts and an evaluation matrix or a ranked uh, uh, prompt so uh, the first one I did was a data collection uh, so that I could have a good uh, wells of uh, about a good knowledge about the rack which is like i have primarily used the fabric repository uh, to be uh, specific i have used the improve rh i guess uh, that's and i have uh, created a vectorized and searchable database from those prompts so that it could uh, match uh, the pattern between most prompts and, uh, based on the question it generate that uh, that's 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 that those effective prompts so the system architecture primarily composed of the uninput parser which accepts uh, those three inputs and the semantic search engine like which, as a retriever uh, that that will find the similar to the roads between similar prompts from the knowledge base the prompt generator which is that augments or uh, the A part, which is uh, uh, no, not the A part, but the prompt generator, which is uh, the mix, the mix between like augmenting the results and generating the prompts based on uh, similar prompts, and uh, the, the prompt will see it in more detail and an evaluation module and a ranking module. 
So uh, we used the GPT 3.5 to uh, go the input descriptions to do the embeddings and to retrieve top uh, any similar of uh, top any similar prompts. So the prompt generation process uh, process consists of uh, retrieving similar prompt instructions or in the knowledge base, there are certain instructions to will, uh, to, will, uh, to will search like what kind of knowledge I should get and uh, retrieve some foundational set. Then it will generate a new prompt. So as an evaluation matrix, I use drag as evaluation uh, assessment, mm -hmm. a context position, uh, context report, basefulness and answer. It's uh, uh, Pretty common. Uh, I think most of uh, my fellow uh, have one, have presented it. But uh, let's to the let's go to the technical, the technical implementation part for the technology stacks. I use chat GPT three point five for generation and uh, embedding of those tokens as a library. I use Langchain, Ragas, and Streamlit. Streamlit I used for fronting building Ragas for building the GNI solution and as in the Langchain. A rag as for evaluating the rag, the rag, and the blank chain to deal in the, uh, the average system or the generative AI uh, system. Uh, yeah, this is the building input parser. It accepts the objective description, the scenarios, and the expected outcome. And uh, as a semantic retrieval, uh, I have used uh, Wibit. Uh, vector database it is uh, pretty lightweight and it doesn't need to, it's not that complicated you could run it up and uh, can write it easily on our instances and uh, i have also uh, uh, fetched the data and chunk it into uh, chunks using recursive character speaker which is uh, which is from uh, long chains uh, library I have used about a hundred in chunk size and two hundred in two hundred in chunk overlapping. Yes, and for prompt generation, uh, I have uh, I given this context and generated two uh, prompt me three top prompts. This could actually be flexible and due to uh, so I think lack of time, but could actually be flexible. And uh, I've instructed it that it is an LM expert, it's a writing service, and uh, pretty uh, I have actually, unfortunately, have used the uh, chat compilations due to some time restraint, but I could have used uh, uh, long chains, uh, chain, uh, chain that so that it could uh, continue executed like on the. Uh, uh, I don't know, my, my English runs out of here, but uh, yes. and for the evaluation techniques, uh, I have tried to implement two, uh, both manual and autom automated uh, testing using Ragas. The first one was that I have, uh, I have generated some specific questions and run through this uh, from the knowledge base, and I have uh, actually tested it. And it is uh, about uh, the context position is about one, which is pretty good. The context record zero point by zero. This is actually it's good. The face is one, and about the answer relevancy zero point nine zero three, which is uh, actually good performing. Uh, it's, it's, it's a good numbers like they, they show us a good performance, right? And I have also used to generate test uh, test cases or using synthetic to generate synthetic synthetic data sets and uh, this one gave me pretty hard time and I couldn't uh, since uh, the, they were not able to generate the answer I couldn't uh, do the the relevancy and uh, the context the faithfulness and answer re relevance so so uh, and, and the results were it's about like pose one which is uh, I don't think it could be an effective measure for our output. And for the ranking, uh, unfortunately, I was not able to conduct uh, the ranking. But here is uh, the UI. I prompted it to 
three three uh, there are three fields three of them are optional uh, i have i want to know like who won the, who will win the u.s selection 2022 in the scenarios i want to get the numbers both from the republicans and democrats angle what is the expected outcome the percent the percentage in the comparison so uh, the generated prompts or the potential prompts are as follows predict the uh, uh, predict the potential winner of U.S. election 2024. As you can see, like uh, it's generating these three good prompts that I can use. Since the objective or since uh, prompt is an AI-based uh, or a prompt-based generative startup, users can bring their own questions or uh, they can generate any kind of uh, prompt independent of their context, uh, the main focus thing, okay. About what's next, uh, I have the plan to uh, ranking algorithms and sort the results by, uh, by their ranking, the current prompts, sort of the prompts. And uh, I want to advance the evaluation methods, I want to explore more, and uh, develop, uh, develop an API for an HTTP access so that users can also, could also consume through an API. Uh, this is my presentation. If you have any question, guys, are welcome. Uh, thank you. That was a great presentation, Abraham. And uh, yeah, I appreciate that you have gone about this project in a different way than most people. So this is a different feature that like um, uh, was like um, an option to to implement, and you have done that. So okay. So my question: If you like you already like uh, gone about explaining, but can you explain again uh, the role of, um, so you are like, you have this database that is basically made from uh, the prompts that you collected from Fabric, right? Uh, so yes. so basically when a user enter like uh, their um, prompt request, what, what they want to have with this scenario, what is happening? Can you explain in a few a few words? Like, I mean, in short, I mean, can you explain what is happening? Are you using like uh, the user uh, query to fetch um, like suitable prompts, and that's it? Or are you like, um, is there is a step when the LLM is producing like a new prompt from these candidates, or what is happening? Can can you explain again? Yes, so when uh, when the user enters uh, the scenarios objective in the end results, it accepts it, it accepts it and it combines it in a single query. Then it will fetch some context from my knowledge database about what kind of prompts, what kind of prompts that it should use as a as a context. The, if you have uh, then uh, combine this. Uh, context in this query and you give it to the LLM to get mm -hmm. the outputs. And if you have seen uh, specifically this, uh, I don't know if which is Yeah, yeah, we have. Um... Uh, could, could you see the GitHub? Uh, the no, no, we GitHub. haven't. We can only see the. Yes, we can only see them. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, this knowledge gave it different kinds of scenarios on how to, different kind of logics on how to generate effective prompts. As you can see, it is like improve, improve, improvement uh, knowledge based or a pattern based on this case. It have some tactics, another tactics, uh, and use case, some steps, and uh, it's pretty good at to, to actually generate effective prompts. Only focus about how to ask to ask effect, uh, effective questions. Uh, if I'm thinking so, uh, if I'm answering, make sure. Oh, okay. right. So it will fetch all those uh, important parts of this pattern and combine it with the query and give it to the LLM. So I the LLM will gen generate us. Good point. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, thank you for that. So, uh, 
and how do you like uh, you said you haven't imp implemented the ranking of prompts but have you implemented uh, like a evaluation of prompts or like do you have an idea how to evaluate the prompts even if you haven't implemented it i have tried to evaluate the prompts but i'm kind of i was confused i have tried to actually uh, evaluate the performance of my rag like as a prompt generator how much yeah. effective is this prompt generator but uh, i later realized that the evaluation should be specifically to every uh, every prompt that should be generated so for every uh, for every for every query there will be candidate prompts every candidate prompts will they will each have a, a test case they will be tested or evaluated and uh, uh, I was trying to use automated approach it's kind of stuck that's my plan is to actually okay so yeah so like uh, I asked this question even though I know this is like uh, the discussion yesterday if you have attended the presentation in the morning there was this discussion about how to actually evaluate um, prompts in this case yeah it's easier to evaluate a prompts when you have a document and basically you have ground truth easily accessible in this case when you are this generating not based on documents it's not as easy to, to to evaluate but yeah so generating this case automatically is uh, at least uh, as far as I know is one approach so yeah so this is a great um, great thing so I hope that uh, when you have time, you can implement this, and we'll see. Like uh, we, we can, we can get to see how how well it can work. Okay, so thank you for your presentation. That was very good. Um. Uh, so. Um. Yeah. All right. So. Um, anyone else? Do we have an, a final person maybe on the queue? Anyone who wants to present now? Because like have like five minutes. Yes, there again. Are you ready to present? Yeah, but yeah, I am with my other computer, so actually I'm not at home. So yeah, um, I will present from my blog. Okay, that's fine. Can you see my screen? Hello. Can you uh, see yes. my screen? Okay, yes, so, yeah, I'm actually uh, I was able to complete projects, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to present what I have done. So, uh, yeah, from uh, the first, so it is, uh, I used this step. Uh, to generate optimized or precise prompt so first thing is i load so i load the comment uh so yeah i'm actually using pdf so uh it is a book uh that is uh with that and uh, with that so i used that book and uh, i split into chunks uh, uh i'm actually just i split saying into sentences uh, after that i chunk it and then i'm um, trying to so just embed using uh using a model so that's found on hugging face uh actually i am using this bg base so it is good for embedding uh and then after that just i store to a vector uh database so i used chroma uh database and after that, so I'm trying to just uh, make formats. 
AI prompt so to generate um, a good uh, prompt. So yeah, I'm trying to just some write something just uh, by giving uh, examples uh, as well as just writing some thing, and also after that, just I initialize uh, like language model, and so uh, finally just I used to just uh, OpenAI, so uh, just to to give uh, what we get from from the retriever uh, augmented generation. And uh, finally, so uh, we get the, we get the uh, precise prompt. And then, then just the final thing is in, so um, I wasn't able to just uh, evaluate the prompt. I was, uh, also, I wasn't able to just run prompt because, uh, just uh, there is some issues on, on around us. So that's what I am done. And uh, yeah, so maybe in the future, just if I have, when I have some time, uh, when I have the time, so I'm trying to just uh, do all things. So for example, I'm trying to just upload a document after that it's automatically just embed in the save to vector database and then generate prompt. And uh, and also maybe if uh, maybe if the user is not uh, just upload a document, so maybe we can also use just uh, uh, generate a prompt without without documents. So that's what I'm thinking. And uh, that's all, thank you. Thank you. That's uh, that was very good. Uh, thank you for presenting. So, um, can you tell it again? Maybe I miss you said and I missed it. Uh, what is your like next step? You think something that you can do to improve? Okay, next uh, step is just evaluating a prompt uh, as mm -hmm. well as ranking a prompt, and and also just. This is, uh, you know, just this is a manual thing. So first, I upload a document, and then it is only uh, works for one document. So maybe I've, maybe when uh, I have the time, so I make interface. That interface just uh, is we can upload the document, and uh, after that, we can embed and store into vector database. After that, we can just ask a question and. Uh, the LLM can generate a good point. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, that's great. Thank you. So, uh, that um, thank you, Dereje. And we, with the Dereje presentation, we have run out of time, basically. Now, this is like time for the next uh, tutorial. Just before we go, um, um, well, let me see. So, Abu Bakr was asking a question about, uh, like, um, the issue with uh, evaluating prompts when we have no documents. And uh, so just I, what I will say that, um, like you said, like uh, when you don't have document, you're now evaluating just the LLM. And well, in the crux of it, when you're evaluating a prompt, you're evaluating the prompt plus the LLM, of course. So how things work from one LLM to another, that would be, um, there will be variation there but the point is if you're comparing the the performance of multiple prompts with the same llm the relative uh, um, improvement on the relative um, uh, perfo uh, like uh, improvement in the performance between different prompts is going to be a measurement of how the prompts are working are, are, are doing but yes so the point is the whole challenge with 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 uh, evaluating prompts without any documents is that how you, how are you going to create these cases uh, so from from the document you have the ground truth there so when you ask your LLM to generate these cases it can easily generate the prompt and the answer that you expect when you don't have a document how are you going to use that so this is the let's say the open question so far um do we have like a way to do this for all kind of scenarios i'm not sure there is a like a good answer yet uh, but like um 
let's see if anyone can like uh, maybe come up with something so with that let's uh, end this okay um, what do you have something to say uh, yeah yeah if, uh, if i'm not taking much time so That's fine. sorry um uh, like uh, if we are using uh, the llm itself to generate the prompts and evaluate itself so the only difference be the prompt so if we are using the same thing so like it sounds very easy say again but, sorry so can you say again i, I miss like maybe your voice is breaking i don't know if it's my from my side or yours can you repeat uh, okay so if we are using am, am i audible now yeah yeah so if we are using uh, like gpt 3.5 turbo right now so uh, we are using that to generate prompt also to evaluate those prompts so all different aspects uh, uh, apart from other things so for example uh, if we are negative and positive to label it as negative and positive we will use the same LLM. so the same LLM to evaluate and to generate so it's it seems like a problem yes yeah. and you are you are exactly right um i agree this is an issue we didn't we didn't bring it up actually in in the presentations but yeah so it's easy an issue and usually when people do this they use like um uh like gpt4 for example to do this uh, scoring of other models so it's not the same model they use different models to do that yeah, it does seem for me that maybe if there is a bias in the model somewhere, it's not going to appear if we are do using it to generate the test cases and to score the prompts, to generate the prompts and to score the prompts. So um, uh, I cannot really, yeah, so I agree with your concern. And you're, I think you're co completely correct. I cannot exactly formulate the problem in my, like, um, in a precise way actually so i'm not sure how to state this um, in the right terminology but i'm sure that okay go ahead Abud. okay uh, so that makes it even harder because there are different kinds of testing methods so or tools frameworks out there so it makes it more harder to choose the better one i guess yeah so in some yeah in some scoring in some evaluations you are asking uh, i don't know if you're saying something because your the sound is breaking oh okay uh no no uh, okay just... so all right so uh yeah exactly so what you're saying is correct again and um, there are different evaluation methods but some of them actually like if you have like the test cases once you have your test cases uh, and when you, once you try your prompts, of course, you, you pass your prompts through the LLM and you get your response. And what you want to compare is the, compare the response you get to the ground truth. In this comparison, basically what you can do is that you can ask an LLM to do this scoring or you can actually instead use some kind of uh, embedding um, or like similar, semantic similarity way to, to, to measure the score. This will be uh, like it's computationally less expensive and also is is going to be less prone to this problem with the bias from the LLM. Another way is um so what I'm saying is that I don't have a full answer to what I'm to what you're saying, but your questions are really interesting. And I think you are touching on really important issues with this evaluation. So um I'm, I'm sorry that we are out of time, even though like I would have liked to talk about this for a while, but we have, you have a tutorial session right now. Uh, so let's continue this in another another chance. And uh, we, I'm going to end the, the, the recording and stop.